What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on the uh, Anaheim Ducks situation on defense. Uh, I figured I'd just take a minute to dish on this. Hampus Lindholm is still in Sweden. Has not signed yet, obviously, and is not even in on the same continent. Meanwhile, uh, Shea Theodore got sent down to San Diego, as did Brandon Montour, which Theodore getting sent down is kind of like, what? And finally, uh, Jacob Larson, 19-year-old defense from Sweden, first-round pick in 2015, is still in the mix to crack their opening night roster. So, pretty much the way we all anticipated it. Um, you know, I look at it as Lindholm's going to be the first domino to fall. Once they get him signed, whenever that is, I think Cam Fowler becomes expendable. I think that's when they move Cam Fowler's. Once they know when home signs deal delivered, that they move Fowler somewhere. Because they've got a surplus on defense. If you flip Fowler to someone like Toronto, Buffalo, the Boston Bruins, maybe. I, I don't think they trade with Edmonton. I think they want him, you know, outside of the division. But, you know, either way. That deal goes down. Then... I think Theodore's back up. And then with Larson, he's put himself in kind of put the Ducks in a precarious situation because if you send him down, it goes back to Sweden for the year, not the end of the world. But I think they want him here. And if he warrants an NHL roster spot, then, well, he's earned it. You know? So, again, I, I don't. The beautiful thing about the NHL is nothing scripted, it's not WWE. So there's a lot of pieces to kind of sort through here. Um, I think Montour will be up at some point this season. When, I don't know. But I think he'll he'll see some NHL time. And I think Shea Theodore has proven he belongs in the NHL on a full-time basis. It's just right now a numbers game. And he's kind of the odd man out given his uh, contract. He's still on his entry-level contract. So, you know, definitely uh, some pretty intriguing shit going on in Anaheim, but, you know, we'll see how they navigate through the, uh, the, the good problem to have of having too many quality defensemen, because as a Bruins fan, trust me, I would give anything to have that be the team's biggest problem. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the preseason and beyond. Later, guys.